it's goat hay time and this is how we get our goat hay it's a lot of work and <laughs> i'm the driver bill is stacking it so it's a lot harder work for him i'm so thankful that he is willing to help me get this done and it really shows that when you own animals you got to work together what do you think about all this uh it's fun it's fun jumping off the back Are you having fun? Yes. What is your job? I'm rolling over bales. Each bale represents winter. It's hard to imagine cold, snow, and wind when the sweat is dripping down your face and back. But this hard work will be so appreciated when the snow feels like sharp icicles in a Montana snowstorm. The ability to feed and know animals are happy and healthy through a long winter is so very worth it. The grasshoppers have ravaged our land this year, but this crop was thankfully spared. This alfalfa had a beautiful bloom when it was baled. Haying is the time for kids to learn the value of hard work and how to pitch in and learn how to do things. It's a beautiful circle of life right here in front of us. And Bill has worked desperately hard this year and picked every bale for our goats and horses by hand. He had the hope of a bale stacker doing the work this year, but mechanical failure after failure prevented that. But what do you do when the job needs done? You gird yourself up and do it. And I'm so thankful for his hard work to provide for our animals this next winter. Rolling 75, we'll weigh two, three of them. Well, I didn't even know that, that was, That's what probably that? a lighter one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hitting right around 75 on two of them, so. I'm gonna hate weigh myself. That's good. You're still at it. My dad, who's in his 80s, can't help but to come out and help move the bales into the barn. It's a part of that generation to see a job needing done and to just step in and help out.
We get about 100 bales on each load. And so we're bringing home about 300 bales. And so second load right now we're unloading and then we're gonna go off and get load number three. It's such a relief to have hay in the barn. <sighs> a child's playground. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. This is a big hay stack. And then there's real stack. And you want to watch? Me get down. One, two, three. We, we found, found the, the bale last we bale. were looking for. <laughs> Let's try that again. It's the one we were looking for, not the last bale, the one we, we were looking for. Okay, here we go. Jeff, one, <laughs> two, three. We, we found, found the, the one, one that we, we were, were looking, looking for. for. <laughs> the last bale on the load. That's This is the one right here that we were looking for, and we found it, didn't we? Yep. <laughs> now All to right. get one more load. We have a three month growing season up north where we live. It's fast and furious in the garden with haying and getting the hay picked up and stacked in the barn or out by the horses. But if we didn't get our stores laid up for winter for our animals, we would have nothing to feed them. The grass is brown and dried out now and nothing is growing. Fall is here and the trees and plants are growing dormant. Soon our world will be covered with snow and wind until next spring. This hay ensures that our goats will be well fed for the winter and will be able to continue providing for our family with milk, yogurt, and cheese for months to come. The goats and I enjoy every ray of sunshine that spreads its wings upon us on these shorter fall days. 